Hello YouTube, I am Orange Peter, and today is a very special day. We will be continuing our swing series with a tutorial about how to make a text editor. So using swing components, we're going to set up a text editor, and it'll be pretty awesome. So uh, let me go ahead and spoil the end result, show you what we have. So um, let's see, Java text editor. This is what it's going to look like. So we're going to have an area where we can put the text, and we're going to have a save and open button. Pretty cool, right? So, with that, we can go and get started. Um, I have a shell right here. I'm almost able to fit the whole thing in one page, one line. I, if I, I'm, I'm scrolled all, I'm scrolled all the way up right now, but I, this very last bracket's kind of cut off. But yeah, if you want to copy this down, you can go ahead and pause it and copy it down. Um, this is, after all, the seventh swing tutorial, so most of what I have in here should be pretty familiar to you with the exception, of course, of this J toolbar and the J text area, which are the new components we were going to be talking about today. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and uh, initialize all my components up here. Um, let's see, we have a J frame. In the J frame, we have the J panel. So I'm going to call it J panel. P equals new J panel. I had somebody comment on my video saying that this is a horrible naming scheme. It's, it's very unprofessional and inexperienced to name my variables in such a way. And to which I say, to each zone you can name your variables however you want, but in bigger projects you would be correct whoever said that. Um, when you're in working in big projects you want to have very descriptive names so that you can more easily understand what they do. But since this is, since this is a short tutorial, I, I feel I can get away with calling J panel P because it's our only panel. Yeah, so. Yeah, sorry, I'm staking with my naming scheme. Um, anyway, so we have our J panel. Next, we have the J tab pane, thing, the bar that goes up on top. J tabbed pane. And this is a new thing, so I guess you might have to pay attention to this. Um, the constructor is new J tabbed pane. And we're just going to put nothing in there. Um, in the previous tutorial, I, I kind of worked hard to always emphasize to look up what goes in the parameters and whatnot. Um, but today I think I'm going to kind of spoon feed you guys. Please let me know which way you prefer. Do you prefer to get the understanding of how to find the stuff yourself and gain that experience? Or do you prefer to be more to the point and me just tell you what to do? Yeah, so, so there you go. And next is the JTEX area. So we've talked about JTEX fields before. JTEX area is very similar. Um, except JTEX area can occupy like a, it's an area. It's like a box, big box. Whereas JTEX field is just one line where you can write your name on this line, sign here, type deal. So box, sign here, that's JTEX area, JTEX field. Um, so yeah, just like the JTAB pane, we're going to give it no parameters. And let's see, what are we still missing? We need two buttons, right? Two buttons, one for the save and one for the open. So J button, save equals new J button. And likewise, we're going to be able to open J open equals new J button. We will pass some arguments in to these just to tell, tell them what name we want to have printed on the button. So on the save button, we'd like to have save printed. And on the open button, we'd like to have open printed. Very creative, no surprise. Um, all right. Now we can move on to our constructor. So of course, when the main is called, the constructor is called. And in here, we can move on. Let's see, what should we name this check setter, by the way? It's going to be famous one day, so got to think of a good name. Um, I'm going to call it Charstar. Yeah, that sounds cool. OK, and then down here, we're going to add all of our elements. So the f first thing we're going to do is we're going to set, set the layout of our panel um, so we can know how, how our CAD pane, our text area, are going to be organized within it. Uh, we're going to go with the border layout. We've used this before. You can align things in the center or in either any of the cardinal directions, north, south, east, or west. So I'm going to say p.setLayout. And I am going to assign the layout to be a new border layout. All right. Now I'm going to set up my tab pane. So I'm going to go ahead and add the buttons to the tab pane. So I'm going to say tb.add. Let's see. Save. I'm going to add save. And I'm also going to add. Uh, open, and that's all we're going to add to, that, to our tabbed pane. 
Moving right along, uh, now we have our tab pane set up. We can go and add it to the uh, panel. So I can say p.add TV. And since it's a border layout, we have to specify which section of the border layout we want to add it to. So we want it to be added to the north section, the top. So I'm going to say border layout dot north. Bingo. And then, last but not least, we got to add a text area. So we got to do p dot add. Because uh, guys call it T, and this one's going to be right smack dab in the center, so we're going to call it border layout dot center. All right, and now we can just go and add our panel, and I that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Text editors are not that hard. I think I remember back when I was designing this, I was, I was expecting it to uh, take a long time and be like one of the grand tutorials in the series, but it's not, especially uh, our very basic one. Uh, however, I did mess up. To be expected, I suppose. Cannot find symbol J tad pane. Did I get wrong? Did I unimport it somehow? Oh. Well, I feel kind of stupid. J toolbar. Yeah, J tad pane has tabs. Toolbar has items that aren't necessary. That aren't tabs. I'm an idiot. Um, I guess I succumbed to my naming scheme. TB misled me. Tool bar. I feel really stupid. I've been calling it the wrong thing this whole time. Tad pain is something else. All right. <laughs> All right. That worked. Now I can run Java Text Editor, and there it is. All right. Save. Open. Save. Open. I can type. I can type. Awesome. And it's char star. Cool. So, um, that is the end of the tutorial, but I can kind of leave this tutorial feeling a little bit sad. If we look at our char star here, it looks very lonely. It looks very um, in insecure, I suppose. Like, all, all he has is this white box, and buttons don't even do anything. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of a sad story right now. Especially when we compare it to its big brother, Notepad++. The grand master of text editors. Look at all the stuff Notepad Plus Plus has. Another thing is just kind of so insignificant. I feel bad for him. If only we could work on it more. But would you guys like to help work on Charstar and make him make him a bigger thing? I think that would be cool. So that said, um, in the description you will see a link to a GitHub page which stores all the code here for Charstar, and. It would be neat if we could just try and add stuff as you know, as a community. Um, you know, there's plenty of stuff we can add. We can add. Oh, I need a battery. Um, we can add. Uh, we can make these buttons do things. We can add a scroll bar, which I don't believe that J T T Stereo has right now. Nope, no scroll bar. It just goes out the field. So yeah, that'll be nice. Um, and of course, there's plenty of other things. Line numbers, syntax highlighting, highlighting. We could actually add a J Tad pane. I made a tutorial about that. That's something we could very well do. So yeah, it'd be really cool. Anyway, um, I would think it'd be super cool. It'd be super awesome if you guys could go on the GitHub page, fork the fork the code, and then go and send me pull requests. That'll be, that would be just the coolest thing. And who, who knows? Maybe we can make a cool little text editor with between us. Just so you know, um, I feel like a lot of people when they watch things like this and the person making the video requests something of them, um, the initial response of the viewer is to go like, yeah, well, there's a lot of people. There probably wouldn't be anything for anything for me to do because there's probably going to be several people working on it. You know, how many, how many people watch this video? And I guarantee you, I would be shocked if, like, a ton of people helped with this. In fact, I would be extremely happy if just one of you could help if 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 one of you could help that that, that would be the, the coolest thing and if five people ended up um contributing that would be super awesome i would be i would be over the moon um that would be just the best if, if i could get like five five people could help that would be pretty awesome so yeah uh, i think it'd be cool if we could make a little community project out of this um yeah so that's that's all for today Check out the GitHub page, and um, I will see you guys next time.